Good morning, folks. The solar eruptions continue on the backside of the sun with a filament ripping away here. Unfortunately, we still are unable to gauge the extent of this uptick due to SOHO's missing images as Mercury conjoined the sun. On the Earth-facing side, we had a high sea flare this morning. It came from the incoming active region down south. The equatorial sunspot group center disk is fading, so we'll come to the left. That flare maker has beta complexity, and despite no real strong mixing, the spots are in tight quarters, which can be all you need. We have lateral separation of the magnetics in the incoming northern active region, and we will also turn attention to a new group just cresting the limb into view this morning. Around 1300 UTC yesterday, we had a brief plasma penetration event into our atmosphere. This was at the beginning of a secondary peak to the solar wind speed. It is waning now, and geomagnetic instability is finding it hard to hold on. Looking at the coronal holes and coronal magnetic fields, the positive northern grouping is now primary. Visualize this in 211 angstroms. We see the southern negative departing group as our new opening shifts in up north. While smaller than the departing hole, it does have some solid force seen in red here, and it has taken Earth from negative near-Earth space to a positive influence. Top plasma filaments here from ISWA, we are concerned with just two of them. The first we've seen before sneaking in behind the coronal hole there, while the other we are just now getting a look at slithering amidst that incoming coronal hole up north. A quick announcement, a website revamp will begin on December 16th. There may be some visual changes and brief interruptions of service while the new site is implemented, mobile device improvements, and other changes coming for the new year. Top news today is an early release of graphics from the November U.S. Climate Report. This was November. I don't think anyone is surprised it was dominated by cold. But they also released the last 12 months chart, December 2013 through last month. Warm out west, but those darkest areas in blue are the coldest ever recorded, somewhat conflicting to the one-sided climate debate. We've also got a terrific article on water and snow on Mars, a good story about quake dangers in Southern California, and I would also like to share a recent interview I did with the Liberty Brothers. The article and YouTube video of the interview is linked below. Last 24 hours over North America here. Still got the western system driving that moisture ashore. And then back east, we see a strong system just offshore there that's complemented by a convergence line cresting across the Appalachians. Major flood warnings east and west. Some extreme snow events complementing those areas. Eyes open there. Looking down on the North Pole, we see that the strongest storm in the Northern Hemisphere is the North Atlantic Low, still driving very hard at the convergence with a high-pressure node to the south, and just can't get rid of that Mediterranean system either. Thunderstorms possible in the south, but the real warnings come with the mega low. Down under, you see the popping cloud line extending up from New Zealand. On the wind map, you can notice how that convergence brings air from the south, the northeast, and the north. Their clash is what drives those storms. We've got shots of our star to close. It's 6.10 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.